Back on the 7300 Mark II, I know that this one's gonna matter to a lot of you. I mean, it matters to me, but I have a huge battery, so not as much as it will matter to other, other folks, right? So I have my inline power meter. Take this thing with a grain of salt, all right? It's, it's accurate enough, right? I, I'm not gonna hold my breath on the super tolerance of this thing, but right now the radio is off. And as you can see, we're at zero watts. Power supply is putting out 13.86, call it 13.8 for the sake of, you know, nice round numbers. And power up, power draw, let's see. Quarter of an amp, three quarters of an amp, yeah. So it draws three quarters of an amp on idle. You know what, let me go get my uh, dummy load and uh, we'll test what it does on output power. I went and got my uh, KD9 OLN antenna over there and let's see if we can get this, uh, uh, get a good reading here. So uh, let's drop to 160 meters, 15.7 amps. Let's go to 80, 16 amps, 16 and a half amps, 40, 18 amps. All the while, look, idle, we're looking at 0.7 amp, 14.1 amps, 16.8. I call it 16.9 for a nice round number. Oh, 9.4, all right, cool. Almost 17 amps on 20, 15.6 maybe, 15.5, 15.6 amps, 16.9, call it 17 amps, 15.5, 15.6 amps, 17.9. And then lastly, let's go to uh, six meters, 15.9, call it 16 amps, just for, again, uh, this meter, you know, give it some grace. I don't have an RF power meter with me anymore. Uh, that problematic one I had, it's been long gone. And then I have another one that identical to it that was given to me that someone let, sent it in by mail, but I don't know where I have it right now. So I don't have a power meter for RF power out, but I'm just gonna guess that, you know, they're all nominal. Short video is showing you the power draw of the radio. ICOM IC 7300 Mark II. I don't know if you can see the Mark II on the video there or not, but hopefully you can. Let's go. Uh... There we go. Mark II. And uh, we're still sitting at uh, 0.7, call it three quarters of an amp on draw on idle. So, does it change if I turn up the volume? Nope. So there you go. And why does this matter? Well, you know, power output is one thing. We, we know it's gonna consume a certain level of power on the way out. The idle power when we're receiving matters if we're doing an awful lot of listening or, you know, even then on the in-between QSOs, if we're at a park and we have a smaller battery, uh, you know, every little, Every little fraction of an amp helps us make more contacts when it's uh, power saved. I don't remember what my 7300 did, my original 7300 did, but I, um, I think it was like two amps on receive. I don't have it anymore, so I just have to go off my memory, and I want to say it was maybe two amps, maybe a little bit more. I can't remember, but it sifts that this is a... That's a nice low power figure. I, I know that there are radios that do less, but they're also QRP radios. I mean, my 705 will do a, even less than that, but I'm, all, I'm limited to 10 watts with it, right? I'm just trying to see what to expect out of it when I'm in the field. If I'm in my pickup truck with a 260 amp hour battery, especially one that's recently fully charged, who cares, right? But if I'm in my pickup truck, I'm on, you know, day number 10 of a 12 day outing and I'm you know down to the last dregs on my battery I want to know how much play time I have left that's all I have on this one catch you guys on the next one seven three